there's nothing quite like a hot toasted buttery treat first thing in the morning. Today I'm going to show you an amazing home style recipe that is so delicious and so easy to prepare. Let's make some homemade crumpets on the One Pot Chef. To make our homemade crumpets first we're going to organise our yeast. So into a small bowl I'm going to add half a teaspoon of sugar, a 7 gram pack of dried yeast and two tablespoons of warm water. Give that a quick mix and just set that aside for 10 minutes until it's nice and frothy. I've got a large mixing bowl and to that I'm just going to sift in one and a half cups of plain flour and a pinch of salt. To the flour we're going to add in a frothy yeast mixture, half a cup of warm milk, and half a cup of water and just whisk everything together until combined. We're just going to cover this mixture with some cling film and then we're just going to leave this aside in a warm spot in the kitchen for about an hour or until the mixture has doubled in size. It's been an hour and our mixture has puffed up to about double the size so we're just going to give that another whisk and I'm going to add in half a cup of warm water with a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda added into it and just whisk that in until it's smooth. Cover that up again and leave it aside for half an hour and then we'll be ready to cook up our crumpets. Let's start frying up some of our crumpets. Now I'm using my electric fry pan today, a banquet fryer, but feel free to use a regular fry pan on the stove if you wish. Over a low to medium heat I've got it lightly greased with some cooking spray and I've got two of these funky little silicon egg rings which you could also use metal ones and I've just lightly greased them so the crumpets don't stick. We're going to pour two tablespoons of mixture into each egg ring and we're going to cook our crumpets for five minutes just on that one side. You don't need to flip them or anything and you see those bubbles appearing they're going to start bursting soon you'll get those lovely little holes over the top of the crumpets. After five minutes you'll notice that the top of the batter is no longer wet, it's a solid mass and you've got the little holes there and the whole thing will just turn a sort of light yellow gold colour, it's beautiful. So we'll just take the egg ring off there and if I'm very careful you can see it's nice and golden on the bottom so we can just take that off, place it on a plate with some kitchen paper and just continue cooking the rest. I managed to get about 18 crumpets out of this mixture which sounds like a lot but if you're planning to do this for a family breakfast or something you will go through them very quickly because they're not big ones they're only little ones but if you don't want to make that many go ahead and make the whole lot anyway because these are fully freezable. Once they're cold you simply put them into a snap lock bag or an airtight container and put them into the freezer for up to two weeks. Then you can just take them out as you require them. You don't even have to defrost them. You just put them straight under a grill, broiler, into a toaster, or you can even just pan fry them on both sides until they're nice and golden and crisp. Now, there's so many options with these once they're toasted. You can put butter on them. You can put some whipped cream and maple syrup. Um, but peanut butter, jam, there's so many options. I personally like a little bit of Vegemite but that's just me. But anyway, give these a go. You will love them. They are so much better than the store-bought ones. They are lovely and fresh and soft and fluffy. Give them a go. You will fall in love. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at OnePotChefShow.com and until next time, see you later. There's nothing quite like a hot toasted buttery ready bloody bloody blur. There's nothing quite like a nice hot fresh buttery toasted bugger. <laughs>